destination number three on my project of places of sentiment. Um, here I am, the community college that I went to after Centennial High School. Here is the map, <laughs> building services. I spent a lot of time in the music because it's still following my roots from high school when I was in the choir with Dr. Lehan and Mr. Haberman as our music instructors. I followed singing, continued in Anoka Ramsey. It's one of the first things I did was join the choir, um, was active member of it, and I met like cool people like Gina, Monica Nelson followed me to college. Um, Leslie was here for a brief period before she went on to the U of M. So these are just kind of moments to, especially during COVID, I just wanna kind of retrace my steps, where I came from, find my identity, and relive those moments and places that I went to. So here is the entryway. This is college services. It's a beautiful day here in Coon Rapids. Library books, I spent some time there, of course. Um, and what does it say? Mm -mm. Building close to public. Employees and students may access for essential situations only. Wow. But it's a small campus, it's beautiful. Um, by the river, I was here for two years. Right after high school, I enrolled. Um, still working at McDonald's. And then from there, I eventually went to Walmart in the village and worked my way up to be a customer service manager, CSM. Um, one of the only male leads there. Uh, so then you went from a, a blue vest to a red vest. So I had lots of years of customer service since I was a kid because we know that I worked at the Muller Family Theater, which is now Imagine Theaters, um, McDonald's and Circle Pines with cool people that I still see today, like Chris Keller, uh, Dan Bettendorf, to name a few uh, good times, you know, like carefree and go to school, run track, and had a part-time job. So here is a building that I think Monica, Gina, Leslie would know, the music building. Spent a lot of time there. Visual arts. hear birds singing so it's really reminiscent like nostalgic for me because I haven't been here in years um so I went across the street where I would always go to Super America and get like coffee and snacks with uh Shelly Holmgren we would carpool to college together uh because she lived like by Golden Lake and was very close I paid for her gas money and it was um nice to go to college with a friend and have a carpool with her. So thank you, Shelly, for those years of carpooling and listening to music. Um, haven't seen you in a while, so we should probably catch up. Um, don't, I do not forget those times when people were there for me and doing, you know, just, just from the goodness of their heart. So thank you, Shelly, for that. Um, Cause I got my license when I was 19. I had my permit. But I was just kind of like anxious to drive. Not so anxious to drive. Because everything was so close. Circle Pines, we, from the people that know, from THS, know that um, Circle Pines is very condensed and everything's like in a really close proximity to each other. Um, it was a big deal when that Big Cub Foods opened up. and Because the only grocery store in town was um, Festival Foods on Lexington. Um, which I found out that my high school friend Damien lives over there. So definitely will catch up with people. And today was just kind of like super nostalgic. When I posted that video, a lot of my high school mates uh, added me on Facebook. We were chatting like John Hoffis, Damien. Catching up with them had been great. And then I fell asleep. And here is the health and wellness center. I'm not sure what that is. You got a uh, tennis courts. Um, 
So yeah, it's definitely super nostalgic being back here and seeing my school and just revisiting where I went. So, um, <clears throat> Hi. And I'm gonna rock around this way because I remember going over here because this is kind of like the main parking lot as you can see. No Ramsey. And this was actually my sister's suggestion, Emily Ann. So thanks for her. Uh, since she said, Are you gonna go to the other schools too? And so, like, really good idea. Um, so you're seeing it from my perspective. Um, Sorry if there's like lag time for silence. I'm not sure what I want to talk about. But um, nonetheless, choir, music, arts were very important to me. Um, that's how I met Monica Nelson. I met Mandy Flashbeater, Chris Nelson, do like, you know, association. And those are the times that I look back on and, you know, reminisce and smile about because um, middle school, high school is like your huge upbringing and where you can kind of choose your path, right? So for me, I went from Centennial to Noka Ramsey to St. Cloud State, and then I went to MCTC. So I've gone to four different, um, you know, educational institutions. Oh, here's the gym. I definitely remember that. Gymnasium. So you can see that up there. It is a decent campus. It's small and quaint and you know like I looked I had some really fun classes here um I took language art so I took French class and Monica was in that class with me I believe and our prof our instructor brought us to like a French restaurant for like our final and she challenged us I think to all speak in French so that was one of my favorite classes and then the choir of course here is kind of a cool pathway outdoor chairs there's like a bridge and what is this business and nursing <laughs> okay so it's been two years here got some generals done and then um and then I applied for colleges, and I went to a couple ones that I chose were, I applied for St. Thomas, I think, um, and then it was uh, Hamlin, and then St. Cloud State, because I wanted to be away, you know, because I was kind of inspired by my older sister, Catherine, who went to UMD, go Bulldogs, um, St. Cloud State's mascot is St. Cloud Huskies, um, and that will be a trip I take in a couple days or like next week or something. I was just actually talking to my friend Leslie earlier, um, reminiscing on things, so that was nice to hear from her. She's working at U of M. Um, Morris, is that right, Leslie? I hope I'm, I'm saying that right. Morris, Minnesota, um, as a uh, guidance counselor for international students. So her job's really important. She's essential and was delivering, uh, what was it? what was she calling them? Baskets with stuff for them. So like care baskets or something, right? <sighs> Most beautiful day here in Coon Rapids at Anoka Ramsey Community College. <sighs> Good times here. Miss Gina, still gorgeous as ever. She's a mom of two kids, and um, I like to follow her on Instagram and Facebook. We haven't like talked personally in a long time, so I think when I after I finish this, I'm gonna reach out to her just to pulse check with people that I kind of have lost touch with over the years. So it was nice that I was staying with Rafito and his husband Vanny for a bit of a time. I was with got to catch up with Kimberly and Michael Sullivan and see their two adorable babies grown babies uh six i think four and two 
and Kimberly is expecting again a baby girl. So I'm super excited for them. Excuse me. Um, crazy time to have a baby during all this COVID pandemic. And, you know, it's the year of 2020. We were all excited for it. And it's been a shit show. Like we lost Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gigi, and then now to this coronavirus pandemic. Okay. Well, I think that completes my walk through memory lane because I don't want this video to crash and I don't want to lose the footage because sometimes that does happen and I'm not on Wi-Fi at the moment. So thank you for watching this. I hope everyone has a great day. Be well and make sure you tell the people that are important to your, in your life that you love them or reach out and send like I've been doing virtual hugs um, to people. So with that, have a great day and thanks for visiting my alum alma mater, Anoka Ramsey Community College. Be well.